What's up YouTube? This is CJ. And Sarah. It's a Wednesday and that means it's time for another Keto Conversations. So let's get started. filming this on a Monday and it happens to be Veterans Day and we wanted to make sure we thank everybody all of our veterans for their service and uh, and the sacrifices that our veterans have made for the freedoms that we have in our country so we're today we're going to talk about um, it's called what did you write six tips to avoid holiday weight gain uh, the holidays are right around the corner. We've already done two videos in our Thanksgiving recipe series. Mm -hmm. If you haven't checked those out, be sure to go back and do that. But um, it's time to start planning, start thinking about how you're going to handle Thanksgiving and the holidays. And that's what we wanted to talk about in this keto conversation. So what is our first point? We've got six points. Yep. The first one is practice mindful eating. All right. So that's basically not eating while you're distracted because then you're not able to pay attention to your hunger cues, your fullness cues, any of those things. It's, I mean, when we get busy, it's natural to eat on the run sometimes. But sure. I think especially, I think it's probably more we're talking about like when you have like a special occasion, like for Thanksgiving meals or we have family over to you know, try and, and make sure that you're taking the time to realize, am I really hungry or am I just eating because the food's there, that sure. kind of thing. And I'm going to already jump ahead because <laughs> to me, what the next point actually makes more sense to go with than what we have. Okay. So then part of that would be plan ahead. Um, so again, we all know Thanksgiving is coming. Yes. It's not, a secret. It's not yeah. a secret. The holidays are here. And so you need to plan ahead. And I hope that the goal is, is if you're doing keto, try to stay keto as much as you can. Um, I know that a lot of times we think that because it's a holiday, we can take a holiday from keto. And you can do that. That is your choice. That is your option to do that. But we think that you can actually have a keto Thanksgiving and enjoy Thanksgiving. Just it does like make it a lot harder on your body and on yes. your goals if you keep, you know, bouncing back and forth between different lifestyles. And actually, it's not it's not a great idea if you're going to practice, you know, a a higher quality fat lifestyle and you go back to the standard American diet, then you're combining, you know, high carb and high fat, and that's really yeah. kind of a scary thing to so, do. So, so plan ahead. Uh, Think about what's 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 ahead of you. Uh, one tip might be to think about what food's going to be served. Most hostesses ask, expect yeah. you to call and say, "Hey, what's on the menu?" Ask kind what's going to be served. Yeah. Uh, if it's at your house, you already know what's going to be served because right. you're, you're probably going to be doing a lot of the cooking. But if you're going to someone's house like we are, uh, you can ask what's going to be served, right. um, so you can kind of get an idea how you're going to maybe strategize how you're going to handle that. Um, and another thing might be that bring a dish. Yeah, you bring know, your own dish. Part of something plan, you know you can eat. Yeah, part of planning ahead is bringing your own food if that's what you need to do. Not saying you need to bring. I mean, you can have turkey for Thanksgiving. Right. You can have ham for Thanksgiving. The <laughs> Those only, are ketogenic foods. The only problem with the ham might be if it's glazed with right. you know with something, and then you can handle that by just not getting a piece with that's got the glaze. Right, on. or just kind of cut around the right. Glaze just cut around the, the glaze. Inside. So you can have turkey. You can have. Uh, ham. You can have the traditional. A lot of times, that, there's a, a side salad. You yeah, know, you can yes. have you things can, like you that. You can do those things, but you need to plan ahead and think this through. If it's your goal to stay keto during the holidays, just think it through, plan ahead. It's probably and, also a good idea not to attend wherever you're attending starving. If you think that there's going to be a lot of red light foods for you, then perhaps contemplate eating beforehand, or at least yeah, having a snack. That's true. So that you're that's, not starving that's, when you're there. That's part of planning ahead. Right. Some people take a strategy of, okay, I just won't eat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going to start fasting. I just won't eat that day until it's time to eat. Right. Uh, if that's a strategy you want to try to employ, then that's that's fine. But just, but again, plan ahead and think this through and how you're going to handle the holidays. Because you don't have to just fall off the keto wagon completely 
and then feel all bad about yourself. You don't have to do that. And you so. are going to be more successful if you don't wing it. Yes. Yes. So. All right. Yes. So. Keep your me your meals balanced with protein and healthy fats. So let's talk about that. Okay. So most of your holiday foods are high in carbs. We already know that. There's a lot of side dishes. There's a lot of desserts that usually go along with holiday foods, mashed potatoes, stuffings, you know, lots of sauces and relishes and things that are high in sugar, mm -hmm. pies, cakes, cookies, etc. Sure, sure. So if you are keeping your body full of protein and healthy fats, then you're going to reduce your hunger and keep your appetite satisfied. So that's going to prevent you from going off the rails. And it's also going to increase your metabolism and help keep your hormones stable, especially like your leptin, which controls your hunger signals. Okay. So if you're eating the foods that you know help make you feel good and keep your blood sugar balanced, then you're going to be less likely to want to crave some of the foods that you see just simply because you're hungry and you need some protein. Right. Okay. Um, next point would be bring a healthy dish to share. And so I guess I would say bring a keto dish to share. If you're, right. if you're doing keto, you're doing low carb, bring a low carb keto dish that you can share. Now we've, we've been, this will be our what, third year, this is our third, third Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. keto Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And we have done this. This has been something that we've uh, done m many times. Uh, we've gone over to your sister's house, which is where we're going mm -hmm. uh, this week. We've had people come or to our this, house this year, I should mm -hmm. say. And you know, we've taken a cauliflower stuffing. Yep. Uh, we've taken desserts. And I'm think, always responsible for the, yeah, their desserts. Yeah, we're taking desserts <laughs> and their keto and desserts. And the thing, the, the thing that's funny about that is, is that a lot of times the stuff we take. We don't hardly get any. We of don't it. get to bring it back. Because so we, that's the, another tip. If you're going to bring something, yeah. you might make two. Because if yeah. you want to eat it, like that's leftovers true. wise, you might not yeah, get it. Be any. prepared. Yeah. But bring bring healthy keto meals that you, or dishes that you can eat. So you know, again, we mentioned the cauliflower stuff, and that's that's a recipe that's on our channel. Yes, it's a little bit different, but I'm telling you, when you put all that together, it tastes really with delicious with all the and, herbs and you know, mixed with your meats like you would with your stuffing. It, it's, it's it's so satisfying. Yes, it, is. it really it's, tastes like stuffing. It honestly does. Yes. And by bringing a dish, then you have control over right. what you're consuming or more control. Right. And you're guaranteed to have something that you can eat. I mean, who doesn't want that? Right. You you want to feel a part. It's you know, it's the joy of the season. You want to feel like you're sharing. In yeah. it, so. And and again, when you do this, don't be surprised that you don't get a whole lot of what you brought because right. because other folks are going to eat it and they're going to gobble it up and it's going to be really good. <laughs> and you're going to be looking around like, oh, okay, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> so, it's all gone. I'm, I'm just telling you, that's that's what's going to happen. If, yes. Especially if you're at, a, at a, an event with a lot of non-carb, I mean, a non-keto people, that's going to happen yes. to you. Yes, yes. All right, next point is modify holiday recipes. Yes, if you want to eat foods that align with your health goals, one of the best ways to do that is finding substitute recipes, substitute foods. And that's part of the reason that we're here. That's yeah. part of the reason that we put content out on YouTube is to replace the foods that you've become accustomed to or that have a place in your heart with foods that fit into the ketogenic lifestyle. So you eat this, not that. Right. So that's kind of the strategy. So CJ has been working on creating a Thanksgiving playlist mm -hmm. and I, that will be found yeah, on our I blog. Created, I created one for last year mm -hmm. and I'm still working on some of the other ones for, and they're probably going to be not just Thanksgiving, but I'll probably include all the holiday recipes. Yes. So even yes. even the Christmas ones as well. Right. So there'll be, you know, pumpkin dishes, there'll be desserts, there'll also be savory dishes, there'll be dishes that you can make with your holiday leftovers, yeah. breakfast foods, everything that you might possibly need for the upcoming season as far as things you can prepare for yourself and things that you can prepare to take elsewhere. Yeah, and I was thinking as you were saying that in the playlist, I mean we could even include some stuff from uh, Easter. You know, yes, because, because we have the... a holiday is a holiday, and not everyone has the same foods. Right. I mean, maybe you're having a beef roast for your Thanksgiving. Exactly. Maybe your family doesn't like turkey, turkey right. or you're having Cornish game hens, or whatever you decide to have. Right. There are still foods that you can 
put in as choices to help yeah. you remain Somebody rigid. just mentioned, I'm not sure if it was a blog or if it was on YouTube, uh, about the um, the turnips. With the Oh, like the scalloped, the scalloped ham. Mm -hmm. ham and turnips. Yes, and you could use the scalloped dish even though i put yeah. ham in it for easter you could take you could remove the ham and yeah. follow the recipe and, without the ham and so and that would replace the scallop. it's all rotten potatoes yes basically. that's what it will replace and so that's something that i don't again i'm not sure where if i saw it on our blog or if i saw it on youtube but somebody just discovered it and they're super excited about it and again that's one of the reasons we do what we do right is to give you options so that you can stay keto and that is success. one dish you fooled one of your co-workers she's oh, like yeah. no uh uh this is totally not mm -mm. yeah no it's and i'm from idaho i take my potatoes seriously so you know it's it's really really good dish and like we mentioned you can take the ham out and yeah. just make it yeah scalp potatoes yeah so modify your favorite holiday recipes our blog is there to help you we already discussed the we already plan talked ahead. about plan ahead so then uh number six we're already at number six is draw the line here's the pep talk so draw the line <laughs> just make a decision that this is what you're going to do that you're going to do everything you can to try to live the lifestyle that you've chosen to live the keto lifestyle and, and, it, and it really does come down to you drawing the line, deciding that's what you're going to do. Uh, I think about situations at work all the time where there's all kinds of stuff. This is the season where there's lots of there's food all available. Kind, right, there's all kinds of stuff. And the reason I don't partake is because I've drawn a line. I, right. know, I know that it's not worth what I'm trying to do to have that donut or to have that piece of cake or to have that deli and there's a lot of stuff that looks good well, and people are bringing things yeah. that they're proud of things they've, oh, sure. baked, they've of, made there's so, a lot of stuff know, yeah. there's a lot of temptation around you this time of year but ultimately it comes down to you making a decision that about what you're going to do and how you're going to live and remember the holidays it's just a season it's just a period of time you worked hard to get to where you are right now you don't need to just blow it. It's okay it. to say no, yeah. too. Yeah, that's true. It is okay to say no. And, and you don't really have to make it a big deal when you no. say no. It's not like you're putting up a sign, I'm not eating your food because right. I'm ketogenic. Just, you know, you just kind of right. slide over here and, and that looks beautiful right. or whatever, right. you know. And you don't have to hurt grandma's feelings. You can just... You can even put some on a plate and, and then pretend to and eat pretend it. Pretend that you ate it and then put <laughs> like it aside. Like you did when you were a kid and you didn't want to eat That's your vegetables. Right. That's when the dog is available. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I it's mean, easy to get into owl. You know, I'll start tomorrow mentality. Yeah. You know, this time of year where it's and it's it's a slippery slope because a lot of times the well I'm going to eat this tonight and then you know I'm going to get back to it tomorrow and then a lot of times it becomes where you abandon it. For yeah, weeks you, at a time. yeah, and then you just start to spiral downhill because you just want you had this one you meal or whatever, right. and so it's like, well, I'm gonna eat this way all week, and then I'll get back on the wagon, right. you know, right. January first or whatever. Right. right. And I was interesting because I read a study, and it says the average American gains a pound during this season every year, and was so it, you're thinking one pound. Was okay. it just one pound? Just I thought it was pound. all holidays. But, uh, okay, so let's just say it's a pound for Thanksgiving and a pound for Christmas. That's too okay? The problem that they have discovered in this study that they did is that you never lose that. So if you do this for 10 years, there's your 10 pounds and it never goes away. Right. So every time you do this where you abandon your goals, you're putting on that one pound. But then that one pound has a tendency well, not to leave. You know, we're just talking about Thanksgiving and Christmas, but what yeah. about... What about when you, the 4th of July when you had a barbecue with your family? And Easter. And Easter. What about yeah. ghost time? So that's <laughs> what that's You know, like four or five that's pounds four a year. That's four or five pounds. And, and pretty soon about, you've gained 20 what pounds. What about, you know, Auntie Susie's birthday that, yeah. you, that you went over? You know, that was a holiday an occasion. So that's another pound that you gained. Exactly. So that's five pounds. Exactly. So, again, we're not trying to trying but to beat, beat you But likewise, if you slip up, yeah. don't abandon your goals. Move on. Yeah. Make healthier choices next time. Yeah. It's don't give up because you've, you know, had this yeah, one don't. mistake and, at and your that's, meal. And that's that is something I, we want to make sure you know is, you know, we're trying to encourage you to to not have to that not happen. have that happen. But if you do have that happen, again, like Sarah just said, don't don't say throw in the towel. Don't say what is it? What the 
Yeah. And and just keep on going. Right. Don't don't do that. You don't need to do it because I've done that before. I've done that before, not with keto, but I've done it. Yeah, where it's like, well, I eat this cupcake or whatever, so I'm. And I say, and I say, you know what? I might as well just keep on going mm -hmm. because I eat that, and I've already blown this thing, and I might as well eat three of those things. Yeah. Don't and do you that. You don't need to do that. If no. you do, you do slip up. It's fine. But we're not gonna come get you. We're, we're gonna eat what we're gonna eat. You're gonna do what you're gonna do. We're all adults, and we all can make decisions. But the 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 best way that we think that you should handle is just draw a line and decide. Try and avoid it right, if you possibly can. Try to decide can. how you're gonna do it. Take these tips uh, and 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 use it as a strategy to make it. Because again, I guess from my perspective, the holiday it's just a season. It's, you know, if you really think about it, it's, it's Thanksgiving and then it's Christmas. And it's, uh, it's really two days. Now, I guess you might say, well, I got leftovers too. So maybe maybe it's three days. Three, maybe <laughs> so it's, it's six like yeah, in each month. Maybe it's, six in November, six right, in or right. uh, three in November, three in December. So it's like six days. It's like a week out of your life that you really yeah. have to be on guard. Yeah, and and it, it doesn't have to be difficult because if you em can employ some of these strategies, you can get through the holidays, still have a good time, still enjoy being with your family, still enjoy eating but also stay on track with and in these three years i have never finished the holiday season and felt like man i wish i'd had that's true xyz i just never had because all the foods that we have made for these seasons are so satisfying to me mm -hmm. that i feel like i have thoroughly had a holiday yeah i was looking at our on our channel we did a pecan pie recipe i think two years ago at least and, and i was, three, and I was thinking we need to make make that again i don't know if necessarily we need to video it but we just need to take pictures of it that's one of the reasons i'm thinking about we, we need to make it again but i like pecan pie mm -hmm. and so there's again that's another thing that i enjoy but there's all kinds of ways to do stuff there's all kinds of keto recipes, we like cake, recipes. We like cookies. We like oh, yeah. it all. And we have all of those recipes. Yep. And I'm going to continue to try and provide those things again, finishing off this month and going into December. So not only will you have the recipes that we've already done in the last couple of years, but I'm still trying to come up with new ones that might help give you fresh ideas right. coming into the right. following six weeks. And then I'm going to throw in a bonus tip because not even on our paper <laughs> is, um, so let's say you stay keto, uh, you, you eat keto foods, keep, be aware of your portion sizes, be aware of how much you're eating. It is, I, I know last year you made that, um, you made like a cranberry cheesecake. I made orange cranberry cheesecake orange cake cranberry for, our cheese home, for, for our family. For our party. family, you didn't make it's not, so. This that recipe is not on our channel, but it will be. And I remember <laughs> I ate. I think I ate two, maybe three pieces, plus whatever else we ate. So again, that was all keto safe food. Because it's like five or six carbs yeah. for a slice so, of cheesecake. So, Most cheesecakes so, are. So again, again, this is a bonus tip. Just be aware of what you're eating. Don't overdo it. I mean, I, I know that's part of the, the tradition in some ways is that you just eat so much you feel stuffed and then you want to go take a nap. I know that's a big part of a lot of people's tradition. But another know. tip that I saw too was be aware of what you're consuming beverage wise because sometimes whatever you're drinking, especially if you're choosing to drink alcohol during the holiday oh, yeah. season, it can make you crave carbs. Mm, yeah, it can make you seriously go off the deep end and just eat and eat and eat. So, yeah. definitely be aware of not only what you're eating but also what you're drinking because sometimes yeah. they can go hand in hand. Yeah, but if you do overeat, even if it's keto stuff, you know what. The next day is the next day right you can get back on track get back into your macros i mean because maybe that's where you maybe that's where you can be a little bit looser maybe your macros you can stay keto but maybe you expand your macros a little right bit. or if you generally yeah. fast like i do maybe you'll eat a couple more meals that day or yeah. you know something like that where you'll eat more or more often but you're still within that the parameters of your lifestyle yes. choice so you haven't completely gone crazy right Right, because all the next day you can always eat less or not mm -hmm. eat at all. Yep. So that's wow, that's a revelation. Not eat at all. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that is it for this week's keto conversation. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've already done two recipes. We did the uh, turkey tetrazzini, 
and then turkey fricassee. Oh. <laughs> we've got we've got turkey recipes out okay. there. See, I'm sorry. I don't even. <laughs> I, I just work here. I don't even. I don't. I just live here. Um, I'm just the camera guy and the food. The guy. taste tester. Yeah. Mm. Um, so turkey fricassee. Fricassee. Why did I, why did I get tetra tetrazine? We have here? turkey tetrazine oh, on our. I must That's just, what I said. We have multiple I turkey recipes. I must have just seen that on our channel. <laughs> so we did the turkey fricassee. And then we've already done the pumpkin donuts. The pumpkin donuts. Mm -hmm. And this week is, yeah, I don't know if you want to tell people what this week is. I'm going to be making a breakfast casserole. Okay. So that's going to help people say if you're having a company come over for either Thanksgiving or Christmas and yes. they're spending the night. If you're the host house. Or if you're going, likewise, if you're going somewhere to say a relative's house and you're spending the night. Right. This is something you can bake ahead and, and bring. Yeah. And, and then it's, you have a breakfast And it's going to be delicious. And it's going to be and incredibly every, easy. Everybody's going to eat it. Kids too. Right. Because everybody's this is something that is not necessarily a ketogenic recipe. Right. This is just a recipe. And and believe me, it's if it's easy and you can cut it into a square and you can serve it uh, yeah. for breakfast, it's a win-win. Yeah. And then we will have the following week, we'll have one more additional dessert. Yeah. So All right, that so that is it. If you're new to this channel, this is our Keto Conversation segment that we do every week, uh, every Wednesday. Uh, we do new, new recipes every Sunday. We've been working on a uh, What We Eat on Keto video, uh, so that's coming soon. One of those is coming out soon. And we do product unboxings from time to time, once a month. But consider subscribing. We, we're all about trying to help you be successful on Keto. Uh, we live keto as a lifestyle, so we're not just doing it to lose weight. We've we've adopted it as a lifestyle just for better health uh, long term, and we want to help you as well. And we're glad to have you here, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Peace. Peace.